Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny Yama and I do beauty reviews and how to's. And today I'm going to do a naturally curly hair product review and a how to, including some of the tips that I have gathered along the way. Um, just styling curly hair, things I've learned, things that don't work, things that do work. So if you have naturally curly hair and you want to get a few tips, then go ahead and keep watching. I really wanted to figure out a way to film in my bathroom with wet hair and really give you an in-depth in like tutorial on how I do my hair, but it just wasn't working for me. So I'm gonna do a talk through for you and I'm going to briefly show you the products, but I am going to list them down below and um, with like a brief description and then also where you can purchase them. So the first thing that <laughs> happens in the shower is shampoo. So this is the B Curly Shampoo. It's by Aveda. So primarily all the products are Aveda. There's one that's not that I recently found that I love. So the first one is shampoo. This is the large size. It's the 34 ounce. They also sell a smaller one, but you get a better bang for your buck with the large one. And then here's the conditioner. It looks really similar, but it says conditioner. And um, I love that they have pumps. I just store them like on my windowsill and then two pumps and you're good. And I would say that they last me about eight months for the shampoo and about a year for the conditioner. So for the shampoo, my recommendation is that you keep it above your ears. So on your scalp and any hair like above your ears. And then for the conditioner, you keep it below your ears. So you don't wanna condition your scalp too much Otherwise, it'll get really oily and you'll have to wash your hair more often. So shampoo above the ears, conditioner below, you'll be good to go. Um, I usually put my shampoo, like after I shampoo, I then wash my face just to keep the shampoo on for a few like extra seconds so that it can do some deep cleaning. And then after I rinse that out, I put the conditioner on and I actually leave my conditioner on until I'm done with my shower. So... Um, if I need to use a scrub and then like my body wash and all that, I do that um, while my conditioner's in my hair. And then as soon as I'm ready to wash it out, I actually take a fat tooth comb. It looks like this. And I start at the bottom and brush my hair. So this is actually the only time I ever brush my hair. Well, I don't even use a brush. It's the only time that I comb my hair. Um, with curly hair, you do not want to comb through. If you comb through, it's going to get really fluffy and frizzy and it, then you won't have pretty defined curls. So only use a comb in the shower when your hair is wet. Um, after that, just your fingers. Once I've combed my hair and then rinsed my hair, I... Um, I make sure I'm done with everything in the shower. I turn the water off, but then I stay in the shower and I brush my fingers through my hair to make it piecey. Uh, and then I flip and do that one more time. So I do like kind of like a, a backwards combing with my fingers. And then that is it. I wring it out and get out of the shower. Um, once I'm out of the shower, I start with product. The Aveda product that I've been using for years now is the B Curly Curl Enhancer and I will link this below. There are a few products that Aveda has for curly hair styling. Um, they have like a style prep and um, a few other products but I've just found that this one works the best. It's a lotion that intensifies the curl, combats frizz, and boosts shine for curly and wavy hair. So if you have wavy hair this will work for you too. So with this product, what I like to do is split my hair into two sections. So I have like the scalp section and then all the ends. Kind of like with the shampoo where you just focus on your scalp, um, conditioner just on the ends. I broke, break my hair into two parts. So I, um, I take this product and I use about a nickel size amount depending on how long your hair is. I have really fine hair so I don't need a lot but I use about a nickel size and I rub it in between my hands and I make sure it's even on both hands. Flip my hair and start on the scalp areas. So the back uh, like flipped over you know and um, then I don't break through the curls. I only like scrunch the curls. And then as soon as I'm done with that, I take another nickel size amount and I only focus on the ends. So again, I flip my hair and then um, just because you can get to all your hair better and you can give it some volume and like scrunch. 
and do not comb through your hair. The last time you comb through your hair is in the shower. So um, you just wanna like scrunch it and then that's it for this one, that's it. That's like, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much <laughs> the whole process. So um, what I do then is it's time for makeup. So as I'm doing my makeup, I leave my hair down. Right now I have it pinned up, but I leave it down and I make sure that I flip this area from side to side as I'm doing my makeup or as I'm driving to work or as I'm just hanging around the house. I make sure that I flip evenly. That way this whole area stays volumized and I can um, then do a part on either side. So when I get my hair cut, I have them cut it in a way where I can part it on either side just because you never know which way it's gonna fall better. But speaking of parts, one thing I never ever do, I think that some people with curly hair do this, but I do not. I never take my comb and give myself a hard part. I just feel like curly hair should be a little bit more like free falling and um, a straight, when I do a straight part, it tends to flatten the areas um, around the part and I'm really into like lifting and volume and just um, when you give the part, it lays flatter in those areas. So I recommend not doing the hard part. Just let your curls fall where they're going to fall. And um, ultimately it gives it more volume. Like I said earlier, there is a new product that I started using. I picked it up at Sephora. I think it's Deva Curl. I don't think that's Diva. Anyway, it's called Set It Free. And this is a shine and finish. So this is going to help hold your style once it's complete. Um, it also is going to give some shine. But I do not use this until my hair is about 90% dry. I felt that like when I did use it when I had wet hair that it would weigh my hair down and then I, my curls wouldn't like shrink as much. So if you want more of a wave then put it on when it's wet and it will weigh them down and you'll get a wave. But I like to use it as a finishing spray. Um, I'm really curious about this line. I love Aveda products but I think that this line also has some really great products. I'm just just incorporate that line into the Aveda. But I do love the Aveda products. I know that the company focuses on um, just like trying to be sustainable um, with their factories and with their products and um, they work really well. Like I know with curly hair you really need to try a few different products and see what works best for you. I've tried Garnier and Herbal Essence and even like um, some of the more high-end ones, like some Bumble and Bumble products, and I don't know. I've tried a ton of different things, but Aveda has been what's working for me, and that's why I wanted to do this video. I can't tell you it's going to work for you, but because I love it, um, I just hope that you will too, and you'll give it a chance. So, I think that's it. If you have any questions about styling curly hair or taking care of curly hair, um, go ahead and leave a comment below. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel and watch more of my videos. Thanks for watching.